token. So uh, what ARO need to do, just let me get login from an ARO. So here you can see once any ARO will log in, you will go to this section. Here in menu option, you can see there would be a button of all turnout. In this menu, we will have four options basically of uh, this turnout related, where you can see first option is there to impo uh, import polling station, where you just click over here, you can see uh, some elector count is already there. And to import the data, you will be having a button here to import uh, the uh, elector count plus PS data, how you need to update that. Let me show you what are the instructions for that. So instructions are already there in this uh, system. We have already updated it. So what you have to do, that's a very simple process. Once you will log in, uh, you will go to that import option. There you will get a sample CSV file in which you have to import your, uh, like prepare your uh, data in Excel format. So first you have to go to that port, uh, encode system, download the CSV file. Now what you have to enter, first you have to enter the part number, then PS number, then part name, then PS name in English. After this, you will be having uh, one category that is PS type. There you have to mention uh, what is the type of polling station for which you are entering the data. If it is main, then you have to enter the M. Uh, for that particular uh, polling station. If it is an auxiliary polling station, you have to mention A. Now, then after you have another option that is to fill PS category. For every government building, you have to uh, fill code as G. And for rest of the other building, either it is semi-government or non-government <laughs> building, either private school or any other premise, then what you have to mention here, you have to mention as N. Now then, you have to enter location type that what is the location type of that particular polling station that is either it is rural or urban you have to use r for the rural and u for urban then after you have to fill male elector count male elector count and third gender elector count and then after you have to click on total electors count once this complete data is filled. That means this uh, around nine informations which we uh, required for a particular PS detail. Now, one thing which is confusing that what you have to enter in case of auxiliary polling station. See, in case of, uh, for example, we have uh, a, an auxiliary polling station which is a start, uh, whose part number is 12. That means its entry need to be done in a way, just let me prepare an Excel sheet. Just hold on a second.
Sir, your voice is not audible, sir. So now you can see I have just logged in uh, from an ARO uh, whose data is not finalized. So what I have to do, I have just downloaded an Excel CSV, which is a sample file here. So once it is downloaded, then I have to go here. Then you can see here is a part number like one. So how, how I need to prepare number one, PS number one, then test one, PS name, then PS type, it is main or auxiliary. Then for the PS category, you can verify from here whether it is government premise or non-government premise so you just enter g then location type it is either rural or urban then you have to mention same then press 100 then it become 201 okay so in this way one data entry is completed now what you have to do just for example let me enter this data also So in this way, uh, the main polling station data need to be entered from your end. You will get this data from ARONET. Now, in case if there is any auxiliary polling station, then what you have to do, you will keep part number as same. Then PS number would be T. Just you will mention A again uh, along with the PS uh, part number. Like your PS number will become 2A. Then the rest of the data will be same. Whatsoever is your elector count, you have to fill that. So I'm just copying the same data. So now you can see my data is saved. So in this way, I have populated data, uh, created data for three polling station. Now what I have to do, I'll just go back to this. Click on import polling station, choose the CSV file. And click on update. The moment I will click, you can see the three polling station with the data will get updated here. But still you will be getting a warning here that total elector in the AC is not equal to the sum of the total elector in the polling station. How you need to remove this error uh, which is coming uh, on the dashboard. 
So for this, what you have to do, you just verify your total elector of male, like it is 300 male, 220 female and 21. So I'll go to this menu option. Now in menu option, there is poll turnout. Now fill this electors details. Here you need to fill elector details. See wise, we'll just mention Sir, we are unable to see your next screen. I can see only the Excel file. Okay, let me reshare my screen. Now is it visible? Uh, not yet, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can see the Spanish yeah. Spanish. Okay. Okay. The moment I have entered this data in the assembly wise elector detail means total uh, male, total female, and total third gender. Then, after what is total coming along with this service electors? The moment I will click over update here. Now, I'll go back to this screen. And once I'll refresh, you can see the warning which was coming earlier. Now it has been removed and there would be a button coming to uh, finalize your elector data. So in this way, you have to remove this er uh, error which is coming uh, like the warning which is coming on the top of this dashboard. In This is the simple way you need uh, how you need to import the polling station and how you have to make data entry for this assembly wise elector details there you have to mention your general elector male general elector female third gender and total of this uh, along with that you have to also mention this service voters data so that total uh, number of general elector plus service elector could be visible here that is 641 coming the moment your this data of male female third uh, other gender and uh, grant to, uh, the total of these all three data become equal to the ps wise data then only this warning which is which was coming earlier will be removed okay then the single responsibility which is left now for aro they have to verify the ps name and everything then after they have to click on this finalize button the moment they will finalize all data will get finalized. this uh, data will get freezed. Uh, this is the responsibility which need to be completed at ARO level. Same monitoring can be done at CO level that how many data is, how many assemblies data is finalized. Now we are, uh, now anything you want to ask, although uh, we will proceed to voter turnout that how you need to fill the uh, voter turnout on the day of poll. How to finalize the data? Sorry? How to, how to finalize the data? Sir, uh, once you will populate the Excel file, the the data, I request you please keep your mic on mute. Okay, thank you. So, uh, the moment you will populate the PSY data through Excel sheet and the total of mail and the ACY selector become equal, then only finalize the data. Sir, I'm not sharing anything. I'm Sir, just... can it be finalized through RO login? No. Because Hello? no, it is not allowed to definalize. If it is required, then you have to request ECI. Okay. Sir, please uh, repeat how to fill the service order data. Don't worry, I'm sh I'll be sharing this SOP uh, to the group also after this meeting so that you can follow the same instruction to populate your PS data in Encore. And in case after populating the data, you are getting any error or any uh, entry uh, goes wrong uh, to the portal, you can edit it. Or in case after finalizing, you realize there is some uh, data discrepancy, you can request us. We will definalize from here. 
Sir, I have a question. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, I just need a clarification regarding. First, we have to download the file, sample file, in which we have to enter the data part wise. Yes. And it will be uploaded when we click on the import file. But by which file it is comparing the data? It will not comparing any data. Okay. You have to take elector's detail of your assembly constituency from ERONet. Whatsoever is your final uh, count of electors of male, female, and third gender in the portal that you need to populate here because the same data will be getting used on the day of poll for voter turnout. Okay. Now, okay. the warning which is coming on the top earlier that your elector count is not met, total elector count is not matching for that. There is another menu. Let me just share my screen. screen sir. Yeah, not the screen. Huh. Oh, so yeah, yes. Here, what you have to do once that warning would be coming now, you have to come here in the second option, electors details. Now, here you have to edit this and mention the total general elector male, general female, and uh, elector female, and general elector other gender and total you have to mention then after you have to mention the service voter count of your assembly constituency and what is the grand total of this once you will enter this and this data getting exactly what you have updated here uh, here in the ps wise data then only your finalize button will appear if any of the value got mismatched with the PSY data, then this finalize button will not get appear here. Okay. So here in one thing. Yes. In auxiliary, see uh, polling station elector details uh, on PS type. You are still mentioning M. It should be A or I just I just mentioned uh, a default. Uh, you can you have to mention it A. I I was just copied and pasted. Uh, that is why. Okay, that's right. Uh, I just uh, sir, from, yeah, sir, from CO, uh, CO office, Mizoram. Yes, so, ma'am. Uh, yeah, uh, regarding the auxiliary polling station, the main and auxiliary uh, polling station will have different count of uh, electors. So, do we have to write it separately? Like yes, the count whatsoever separate the count of elector would be there, no, ma'am, for uh, yes, main. For example, if in, in case in main uh, polling station, there is 100 uh, elector and in uh, auxiliary, there are 50 elector. You have to separately mention that in Excel sheet and what is their bifurcation you have to address here. Yes, so, uh, when you explain it, 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 you are saying that it, it, it is uh, like supposed to be same. It's no, no, no. Uh, no, same. Okay. Actually, I just copied the same data from the upper uh, upper row to the second one. What you have to do, for example, okay. there is a P, uh, part number three, PS number three, then your uh, part number is test three, PS number is test three or something else it can be. Then if it is main, then you have to mention if it is in a non-government building, then you have to mention R and then if it is in an urban uh, area, you have to mention U. Then male count is 150, female count is 100, and third gender is 1. Then you have to mention here as 251. Similarly, in case of auxiliary uh, polling station, you have to mention part number as 3, PS number 3A. Then what would be the uh, part name? You just mention that. Then PS name. If it is the same, you can mention the same. Then it should be auxiliary. Then if it is in the uh, non-government building, you have to mention N, urban, like 20, 10, 1, and this is 31. So in this way, you have to prepare your Excel sheet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Hello, sir. Uh, we are uploaded a database, found some mistake in the police station number. So, whether we can uh, delete it and upload it, import fresh. 
sorry whether we can delete the entry and start in fresh no you fresh cannot station. delete in case extra polling station is entered then you have to uh, request us we will clean it from here there would be not an issue okay sir please share your details for contact sir my detail is available by co office just request to co office they will communicate us they are in touch with us from our whatsapp group also they will just forward your request in the whatsapp group we will get it clean instantly sir from uh, andaman sir yes sir uh, uh, like uh, all other application in this also we have sir three districts and only one pc we don't have any ac so uh while entering the part wise uh, electric data we can download the csv file we can enter the data part wise but again when uh, we have to do the assembly wise the total electric count there what we should do we have don't have assembly we have only one pc but can you please repeat the question uh sir uh, here sir we have three districts in andaman and only one parliamentary constituency the <laughs> word we don't have we don't have any assembly so so uh, while uh, updating the electoral count part wise that can be done by uh, downloading the excel file and we can update the uh, electors part we can we can update the electors part wise but again while entering the ac wise electors we hmm. should match the electoral count of part wise okay so, so uh, our total electoral count part wise will be equal to the electoral count ac wise we have to enter only in in uh, we have only one pc we don't okay, have agreed agreed so so, so as how per, we as should per, go out it okay so as per my knowledge there are 400 polling station in your one pc is that correct sir we have one pc 412 polling station 412 412 yes sir so yes, prepare sir. the data for those 412 polling station and we will guide you how to uh, proceed for that right okay because there is no uh, ac uh, like we have created virtual ac for you so we will guide and we will import the uh, data will suggest you after the meeting we have noted down sir the electoral data from we have from where we are getting it is from ero so in the ero net login uh, you have uh, this facility you can download the excel sheet ps wise and ac wise both okay and sir can you just uh, once again uh, give the steps of the to finalizing the data sir i will share that sop in the group you you will be communicated uh, and that will be helpful for you okay i will provide yeah, a detailed the, sop the tab where which uh, op button we have to press for the finalizing that thing we have to confusing don't worry i'll give a detailed sop that will be helpful uh, for you and probably you will follow the same instruction if uh, then uh, you will not face any uh, trouble okay okay that uh, electoral roll data has to be get from the ero login Okay. Yes, you you will get from your ERO net login. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else? Engineer, nahi. Haraji. Anybody else? Sir, can you confirm whether this uh, part name and uh, PS names are uh, same? So the uh, part name and PS name uh, can be same. Uh, might be just because. part name uh, for example there is one building okay and there is only one polling station in the same building that means the part name and ps name will remain the same but if in the same building there would be multiple polling station then part name would be the same for all this uh, ps but ps name will be different like room number 1 room number 2 room number 3 this type of differences will be there Uh, this type of differences would be there in the name of ps yes. hello uh sorry uh, ps is it mandatory to mention uh auxiliary ps with auxi after the ps no, no, no. 
no no it is not mandatory i was just doing data uh, typing so just for identification i have mentioned in the name that auxiliary if you have uh, room numbers or whatsoever it is the name of the auxiliary polling station you just mention that okay thank you sir from puducherry yes sir ha uh, sir we have already requested you to hello clear that sir uh, do we need to clear, clear the data so data? that we can uh, am i audible sir yes you are audible hello yes you are audible sir yeah yes sir yes sir come you again ah yes sir okay. you kindly clear the data pertaining to puducherry we will push it again okay we will clean it and confirm in the group sir okay okay sir sir in right, that sir. group thank you sir for the number for the cleaning if any issues coming for entering the data uh, from your side it is clean now which uh, whatsapp group uh, who are the members sir just communicate to your co office they will uh, help you don't worry we will communicate with them okay and what time have to enter this data in it an encore sir try to finalize it by uh, sunday okay sir excuse me sir yes sir can you kindly share your mobile number sir uh, see uh, there is no issue in sharing the mobile number because we, we even if there is issue with aro we help but uh, try to understand our situation if all the 4000 aro would be calling us it is not possible for me and santosh sir to respond okay don't worry sir, if you have any me. trouble okay just get in touch with co office co office is uh, quite efficient of each state and they are helping well in case it is not getting resolved you can uh, write email uh, my email id drop us a mail we can uh, we can uh, uh, look into that okay i'm just writing my uh, email id okay, okay. you just sir. copy from the uh, this uh, text saurabh ji arunachal yes sir सर ये जो डिफाइनलेज का डिफाइनलेज का ऑप्शन सीओ लॉगिन में देने से ठीक था क्या क्योंकि वो सी ऑफिस में है बट हाँ. उसकी कुछ टाइम रेस्ट्रिक्शंस है वी आर जस्ट वर्किंग ऑन दैट एक बार हम उसे क्लियर कर लेंगे तो हम सी ऑफिस को कम्युनिकेट कर देंगे ठीक है सर वो ऑप्शन देने से बहुत अच्छा हुआ क्योंकि बहुत सारा रॉन्ग डेटा एंट्री हुआ है हाँ सर वो हम डिफाइनलाइज का ऑप्शन देते हैं बट वो क्लीनिंग का नहीं देते और डिफाइनलाइज भी वो पोल के दो दिन पहले तक ही कर सकते हैं उसके बाद वो डेटा एंट्री में चेंज नहीं हो सकता सो जस्ट वी आर वर्किंग ऑन दैट एक बार हम उसे कंफर्म कर लेंगे तो वो हम ग्रुप में आपको कम्युनिकेट कर देंगे नहीं सर सिर्फ डिफाइनलाइज का ऑप्शन देने से हो जाएगा क्लीनिंग का जरूरत नहीं जस्ट डिफाइनल का ऑप्शन देने से होट वी विल श्योरली गिव सर ठीक है सर सौरभ फ्रॉम लखनऊ फ्रॉम लखनऊ uh just two one suggestions and one request the suggestion is that aapka uh, ero net pe jo data hai usi ko hum excel mein leke is pe upload karne ki file facility kyon nahi de de rahe hain edit ka option bhale hi de dein because if we go for every entry to human error ki possibility bahut zyada hai If you go for booth wise entry, then there will be a lot of human error possibility, and uh, uh, if that sir, goes wrong, then things might not be that conducive. Sir, point noted. We'll uh, be in touch with you. Right, Part sir. Two. Second you. point is that uh, defineization of ARO level. You are taking it up at ECI level. If you can give that defineization at CO level, then that will help us to at least monitor and get them. Otherwise. will just have to handhold hum unki problem leke aapko throw karenge aur unse aapse solution leke unko throw karenge to ek bar ye agar aap soch sakte hain ki humko ce office pe aap isko de de defineization wala then that may be that may work out. point taken and will implement thank you right right thank you so much anybody else sir here to ar uh, hai uploaded data Uh, figures are matching in all respects. However, uh, in auxiliary as well as uh, um, 
codification they have mentioned full that is m a i n auxiliary me u x i l a r i what to do then सॉरी रिपीट सर मैं आपका प्रश्न समझ नहीं पाया हाँ तो हियर ऑल एयर है अपलोडेड डेटा एंड फिगर्स आर मैचिंग इन ऑल रिस्पेक्ट ओके हाउ एवर दे हैव अपलोडेड एज पर फॉर मेन दे हैव एंटर एम ई आई एन फॉर गवर्नमेंट दे हैव मेंशन डी ओ वी आर एन फुल वर्ड इज मेंशन देयर एंड दे हैव अपलोडेड दैट एंड इट इज फाइनल एक्शन सर फॉर विच ए सी हेलो सर कैन यू प्लीज लेट मी नो द ए सी नंबर विल गेट इट चेक एंड लेट यू नो ओके सेवेंटी 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 वन सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी वन सेवेंटी टू ओके विल गेट इट चेक एंड लेट यू नो ओके चंद्रपुर ना हेलो सर Yes, sir. Sir, I need sir, again uh, explanation of okay. the regarding this uh, entering the service order because I am absent on that such a uh, uh, situation. Uh, sorry, didn't understand. Can you please repeat? I need again explanation of entering the service orders in the list. See, service vote in service order data. What you have to enter here in the uh, uh, elector wise detail. There is nothing like uh, you have to fill a detailed data. Only the total count which is available in service order portal. Okay, that you need to copy here, and you have to mention here in this menu of elector's detail. Okay, these first four column data. Like uh, general elector male, general elector female, uh, general elector other gender would be coming from the ERO net. Okay, the total of this you will calculate from the all these three. Now this service elector count, service elector count you would be taking from the service voter portal, and this total would be uh, getting calculated uh, through the sum of five fifty four plus hundred. That is six. So, uh, in case if there would be any error, like what is expected if their count is uh, mistaken, like you have mentioned wrong uh, male count or female count, then you can simply edit that particular PS and correct the data. Okay, but in case uh, you have entered extra polling station, then you will not, you are not allowed to delete it. Then in that case only you have to reach to us. Okay. If only number need to be rectified, it can be done uh, by clicking on edit button. Okay. Okay. Sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Please explain about uh, PS category. So it is very simple, sir. In case of PS category, you have to only mention either G or N. All those polling station which are uh, like situated in government building, you have to mention G. And if uh, if any other type of building is there, you have to mention N for that. No, Means, no. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, what is the difference between PS part name and PS name? See, I already told you that part name and PS name. If there is only one polling station in a single building, then it the both part name and PS name can be same. Okay, but in case there is a building where multiple polling stations are there, then part name for all those four polling station can be same, but PS name may be different. Like room number one, room number two can be added along with the name of part. Okay, so. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Or non-government. Hello, sir. Sir. 
Yes. Uh, this is from Rajan Gaur, sir. Yes, tell me. Uh, I'm having two doubt uh, on Encore related to nomination, sir. Uh, uh, sir, uh, we are just discussing here voter turnout and electors detail. Uh, just uh, text me your number uh, in the text box. I'll uh, call you personally. Okay, sir. This. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Namaskar, sir. Hello, Namaskar. sir. There is one query. Hello, yes. sir. Uh, sir, if there are uh, some spelling errors in the name of polling station, okay, okay, because the same spelling has been taken from the Aeronet login, okay. Uh, so, is it necessary to make uh, corrections in the name of uh, in the spelling of that particular polling station, or is it okay? So please get in touch with CEO office for this. If they instruct to rectify the name, you can rectify in the Excel sheet and import the same. Okay? But if they are okay with this, that the name which is available in ER on it, same can be considered in uh, Encore, then use the same as it is instructed. Okay, sir. Namaskar, okay. sir. G. P.S. नंबर क्या देंगे पीएस नेम एक पीएस में कई सारे पार्ट और पार्ट नेम हो सकते हैं तो पीएस इनका नंबर कैसे इनको देंगे सर अगर आपका पार्ट फॉर एग्जांपल पार्ट नंबर ए है और पार्ट में जो है एक ऑक्सिलरी है और एक मेन है तो पार्ट नंबर आपका दोनों पोलिंग स्टेशन के लिए वन ही रहेगा जो पीएस नंबर रहेगा मेन वाले के लिए वन हो जाएगा और ऑक्सिलरी के लिए वन ए हो जाएगा ठीक है एक एक पीएस में कई सारे पार्ट नेम हो सकते हैं एक पीएस में पांच छह हो गए तो उनको नंबरिंग क्या एक दो तीन चार पांच देंगे या एक ही एक एक नंबर एक पीएस को देंगे एक तो पीएस में कई एक पीएस में कई सारे पार्ट हो सकते हैं जी तो पार्ट नंबर आपका बदलेगा सर वो एक दो तीन चार ऐसे बढ़ता रहेगा लेकिन जो पीएस नंबर होगा वो वन और वन ए हो जाएगा और अगर वन सी होगा फिर अगर एक में तीन चार हो गए तो हाँ तीन चार है वो वन ए वन डबल ए जिस तरीके से भी आपके यहाँ रखते हैं उसको जो तो मेरे यहाँ मेरे यहाँ तो जैसे दस तक हो गए हैं एक एक यस में मैक्सिमम दस हैं तो उनको सर, क्या हम नंबर देंगे सर पहले तो वो देखिए अगर वो मेन ऑक्सिल मेन पोलिंग स्टेशन है तो उसका मेन नंबर होगा मेन ऑक्सिलरी इनका तो अपना नंबर होगा ही ना सर ये सिर्फ ऑक्सिलरी के केस में होगा अगर मेन है तो उसका अपना पार्ट नंबर और पीएस नंबर दोनों होगा सीटीएमएस में है नंबर ऑटोमेटिक हाँ हाँ पार्ट नंबर और पीएस नंबर दोनों है मेन ऑक्सिलरी मेन के केस में ऑक्सिलरी के केस में सिर्फ आपका चेंज होगा ठीक है सौरभ सौरभ एक्चुअली वॉट यू आर सेंग इज पार्ट नंबर जी यू आर रिफरिंग टू दी एस एल दट इज दोलिंग स्टेशन लोकेशन If I'm not wrong, sir. Part number uh, basically वही होता है सर इनेट में जो हम ये पार्ट नंबर लेते हैं वही यहाँ पे पॉपुलेट होना है मेन पोलिंग स्टेशन जी अभी जो उन्होंने इन केस अगर वहां पे कोई ऑक्सिलरी पोलिंग स्टेशन बनाया जाता है ड्यूरिंग फाइनलाइजेशन ऑफ ई रोल जैसे अभी लास्ट डेट ऑफ नॉमिनेशन के बाद अगर ऑक्सिलरी पोलिंग स्टेशन क्रिएट किया गया होगा देन द पार्ट नंबर विल रिमेन सेम एंड द पी एस नंबर विल बी अलोंग विथ ए फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेवन है तो सेवन ए होगा उसका ऑक्सिलरी ठीक है यस परफेक्टली पॉइंट वेल टेकन जी मैम बताएं एक्चुअली क्या है जो आपने बोला कि पीएस नेम आई हैव द सेम डाउट इज यूपी कि पीएस नेम जो बोला आपने सपोज इन इन नॉर्मल सर्कमस्टांस एक पोलिंग स्टेशन लोकेशन में पांच पीएस है तो पीएस नेम लेफ्ट है लेफ्ट विंग राइट विंग मिडिल विंग ऐसे है तो पीएस नेम वही केंद्रीय विद्यालय नाम होगा या लेफ्ट विंग राइट विंग तो उसमें भी आ जाएगा पीएस नेम में भी आ जाएगा हाँ मैम जब केंद्रीय विद्यालय लेफ्ट विंग होगा ना वो पीएस नेम हो गया पूरा हाँ, हाँ, का केंद्रीय हाँ, विद्यालय हाँ, लेफ्ट विंग केंद्रीय विद्यालय राइट विंग उसका दूसरा पीएस नेम हो गया जो उसका पार्ट नेम है वो केंद्रीय विद्यालय ही होगा ठीक है वाई मतलब आप वही बोले हाँ वाई पार्ट नेम विल बी दोकेशन नेम हाँ उसका एक आप 
आपको जो रीजन है मैं क्यों बता वो भी बताना चाहूंगा द सेम नेम विल बी विजिबल ड्यूरिंग द डे ऑफ काउंटिंग ऑल्सो वेन यू फॉर्म ट्वेंटी में फॉर्म ट्वेंटी में भी आएगा और जब आप पी एस वाइज डेटा एंट्री कर रहे होंगे ना ए आर ओ द मोमेंट यू विल सेलेक्ट टेबल नंबर एंड पी एस नंबर आपका पी एस नंबर सेलेक्ट करते वही नाम आपका वहां पे विजिबल होगा सो so देट आप उसको आइडेंटिफाई कर सकें कि किस पोलिंग स्टेशन की आप डेटा एंट्री कर रहे हैं तो बेसिकली पार्ट नेम में हमको लिखना है पी एस बिल्डिंग का नाम और पी एस नेम में लिखना है वो पर्टिकुलर पी एस का नाम मैम फॉर बेटर बेटर आइडेंटिफिकेशन प्लीज यूज बोथ लाइक इफ इट इज केंद्रीय विद्यालय एज पार्ट नंबर मतलब केंद्रीय विद्यालय सौरभ जी मैं समर बोल रहा हूँ मैं थोड़ा सा इसको क्लियर करता हूँ सर हैं सौरभ जी मैं समर बोल रहा हूँ इसको क्लियर करता हूँ एक्चुअल में क्या है कि पार्ट पार्ट और मेन पोलिंग स्टेशन सेम होते हैं जो पार्ट का नाम होगा वही पोलिंग मेन पोलिंग स्टेशन का नाम होगा ठीक है और जहां पर हम ऑगनरी क्रिएट करेंगे तो वहां पोलिंग स्टेशन के पोलिंग पार्ट का नंबर सेम होगा जैसे किसी पार्ट में दो दो एक ऑगजलरी बना तो वन पार्ट में वन रहेगा और वन वन रहेगा एंड पोलिंग स्टेशन में वन एंड वन ए आ जाएगा बस ये सर मेरा डाउट ऑक्सिलरी को लेके है ही नहीं मेरा डाउट है ऑन पोलिंग स्टेशन लोकेशन पार्ट विथ मल्टीपल पी एस यस यस मैं बता रहा हूँ पार्ट पार्ट इज इक्वल टू मेन पोलिंग स्टेशन जो पार्ट का नाम होगा वो पोलिंग स्टेशन या यहाँ पर समर सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट इसमें ना देखिए ये यूपी के केस में आपके यहाँ जैसे है कि पार्ट नेम और पीएस नेम सेम हो सकता है बट स्टेट टू स्टेट डिफर करता है जैसे और कुछ स्टेट है जहाँ पार्ट नेम और पीएस नेम अलग अलग है सो इट डिफर स्टेट टू स्टेट Uh, what was the point of Gayatri Ma'am from Assam? कि जो PS का नाम है, it is for identification. तो Ma'am जो left wing और right wing है ना, वो PS name, part name के साथ आएगा PS name में, ठीक है? मतलब part name में, I'll I'll just say once again, part हम लोगों के लिए वो same होगा. Part name will also be Kendra Vidyalay left wing and PS name will also be Kendra Vidyalay left wing. Yes ma'am. हम लोगों के लिए it will be stay same. Yes ma'am. तो पार्ट नेम और पीएस नेम में हम लोगों के लिए कोई डिफरेंस नहीं सर what we will do uh, we will provide a proper clarification in written just because uh, state to state ये differ करता है तो हम यारों ने team से एक बार इसको proper clarification लेके इसको written में provide कर देंगे so that क्योंकि हम जब वो if for us मैं मैंने जो example लिया केंद्र विद्यालय left wing right wing for us left wing right wing is the part name and PS name and Kendra Vidyalaya is the PS building name so वो हमको चाहिए होगा exactly यहाँ पे भी यही है सौरभ building का option लाइक आप चाहो एक building के चार आपको लोगों को ऐसे ना उसे नहीं है तो हम लोगों के लिए Kendra Vidyalaya हम refer करते हैं मतलब common balance में हम उसको PS building name बोलते हैं exactly इसलिए आपको कौन सा fill करना है क्योंकि building का कोई relevance नहीं है in terms of counting PS का ही डेटा चाहिए। PS का ही डेटा चाहिए होता है मैम। And if you will mention left wing, then only you will be able to identify on the day of counting कि आप कौन से पोलिंग स्टेशन। हाँ, that is why I am telling मैम कि आप PS में उसको proper specify करोगे। That is, it is that it is केंद्रीय विद्यालय left wing। जी जी जी। क्योंकि PS building का कोई लेना देना नहीं है for counting and other purposes. Part name से भी मैम उसको बहुत specification है just because we need the data in for voter turnout purpose तो हमें वो चाहिए होता है ठीक है हाँ तो हम लोग part name और PS name में दोनों ही PS name में fill करना पड़ेगा फिर building का कोई लेना देना नहीं है ठीक है thank you so much thank you सर राजा से बोल रहा है सर यहाँ पे कोई जैसे car को लिखा हुआ है और community hall तो हम लोग पार्ट नेम में क्या डालेंगे और पीएस नेम में क्या डालेंगे पूरा ही डाल देंगे दोनों में क्या सर मैं समझा नहीं आपका क्वेश्चन जैसे पीएस नेम जो डेटा मिली है सर हम लोग देख रहे हैं पीएस नेम में सिर्फ कम्युनिटी हॉल ऐसे एग्जांपल बता रहे सर कम्युनिटी हॉल और लोकेशन का नाम है उस जगह का नाम जिसे कार को तो हम लोग पीएस नेम में क्या डालेंगे सर सिर्फ कम्युनिटी हॉल और पार्ट नेम में फिर क्या डालेंगे सर कौन से एसएमपी कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी का है अरुणाचल प्रदेश में बात कर रहा हूँ अरुणाचल सर एक बार हम एसी नंबर बताएं एसी नंबर थर्टी फोर 
ठीक है सर हम यहाँ का डेटा दिखवा के आपको बता देंगे ठीक है सेमी गवर्नमेंट बिल्डिंग हाउ कैन वी क्लासीफाई द गवर्नमेंट और नॉन गवर्नमेंट for semi government you just use uh, n see it is not uh, uh, like very specific related to your counting or voter turnout it is a general data which we are taking for uh, analysis purpose only okay uh, sir from when we have to start this uh, data entry sorry from when we have to start this entry sir you can uh, do it from today डे राजस्थान सर हमारे एक ऑक्जिलरी पोलिंग बूथ टू टाइम हो रहा है हम उसको जब अपडेट करना चाह रहे हैं तो भी वो अपडेट नहीं हो पा रहा सर अगर गलत है सर उसमें इसलिए है क्योंकि अगर आप ऐड कर दोगे पोलिंग स्टेशन तो आप हटा नहीं पाओगे जस्ट कम्युनिकेट अस थ्रू सी ऑफिस हम वो डेटा आपका क्लीन करा देंगे आप दोबारा से फ्रेश एक्सेल एक्सेल इंपोर्ट कर दीजिएगा जी सर हम अरुणाचल प्रदेश कांग्रेस पार्टी का जो है जी बताएं सर ये हम लोग पार्लियामेंट्री हेड क्वार्टर है आपका यहां में 27 असेंबली है जी we just have to do the hands on on the original website so sir on uh, encode demo with uh, where you have uh, done hands on training for nomination on the same you can try this also so okay. better you can try on demo first then implement the same on uh, live okay okay thank you hello multiple time upload possible hai kya sorry sir multiple time upload is it allowed यस सर मल्टीपल टाइम अलाउड है या तो आप ओवर uh, कर रहे हो सेम काउंट ऑफ पोलिंग स्टेशन पार्ट नंबर्स की फॉर एग्जांपल आपने सौ पोलिंग स्टेशन डाले हैं तो आप अगर दोबारा अपलोड करेंगे सौ ही पोलिंग स्टेशन होंगे तो वो ओवर हो जाएगी या फिर Uh, उससे ज्यादा हो तो ओवर राइट होगी लेकिन अगर उससे कम डालेंगे तो ओवर नहीं हो जाएगी बेसिकली आप डेटा डालने के बाद डिलीट नहीं कर सकते ठीक है ऑफिस महाराष्ट्र जी बताएं महाराष्ट्र एक सजेशन है कि जैसे ही वो क्लिक किया तो फाइनलाइज हो रहा है कोई कंफर्मेशन डालो आ जाए क्योंकि एक्सीडेंटली कोई फाइनलाइज कर दिया तो फिर मुश्किल हो जाएगा अभी फाइनलाइज करने का वो एक सजेशन है yes. और सीओ okay. ऑफिस पे कोई रिपोर्ट मिल जाए कि जिससे कि, कितने आर ने और कितने आर ने फाइनलाइज डी फाइनलाइज क्यों किया है उसका स्टेटस दोनों दोनों हम इम्प्लीमेंट करा देंगे सौरभ जी अरुणाचल ऑफिस अरुणाचल जी बताइए सर एनकोर से डेटा पॉपुलेट करने से थोड़ा इजी होगा क्योंकि बहुत सारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट देख रहा है पीएस नेम अलग दे रहा है पार्ट नेम अलग दे रहा है ये सब चीज बहुत सारा चेक करने के लिए प्रॉब्लम हो रही है काइंडली ये प्रोफेसर डिस्कस कर लेते हैं 
हम आपको कम्युनिकेट करेंगे इफ यू विल गेट पॉसिबिलिटी देन ओनली बिकॉज सम हाउ वी आर ट्राइंग बट वी आर नॉट गेटिंग द सोल्यूशन दैट इज वाई वी आर आस्किंग स्टेट टू अपडेटेड ओके बट आई एल कॉल यू फॉर दैट ठीक है सर ओके we sorters uh, it will uh, get from the yaro or uh, from where sir from yaro net you just uh, download your data of electors which is get finalized on the last date of nomination and about the, the service voters service voters for service voter you will take uh, help of svp.eci.gov.in there you will get your final count of service voter for which you are transmitting aapne itse so 4 divisa 4 5 divisa sir okay Sir, once again, can you repeat the web URL? You will get service voter count from svp. eci. gov. in. That is service voter portal. Okay, whatsoever etpbms count you are transmitting postal ballot through the etpbms system. The same service voter count you need to enter here. As your already last date of nomination is over, then you have to simply just. Take the count of service voter from the service voter portal and mention here. That's it. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir. Yes. Uh, sir, ये जो polling station है, PS number, PS number and part part number. जो ऑग्जिलरी पोलिंग स्टेशन है सर आपका उसके पी एस नंबर के साथ आपको ए मैंशन करना होगा सो दैट यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई इट इज एन ऑग्जिलरी पोलिंग स्टेशन दैट्स इट ओके और पार्ट नंबर सर पार्ट नंबर विल रिमेन द सेम ओके उसमें भी ए ही मेंशन करना है ना पार्ट नंबर में ए नहीं मेंशन करना है सर वो ए आप वहां मेंशन करोगे एक्सेल फाइल इंपोर्ट नहीं होगी ठीक है तो वो सीरियल ही लेना पड़ेगा सर फिफ्टी एट पार्ट नंबर में सीरियल रहेंगे सारे और जो सीरियल प्लस ऑक्सिलरी के साथ ए है वो आपका पी नंबर में आना है नागपुर यू हैव टू टेक फॉर नॉन गवर्नमेंट बिल्डिंग ओके पोलिंग स्टेशन डेटा Sir, try to complete it by Sunday because once you will complete on live, then only we will populate the same data on demo so that you can test voter turnout also before the poll. Okay, okay. Yes. So by Sunday we have to do it, right? Sir, yes. uh, the log login ID is not for ARO in uh, SVP portal. How it is for ECI, CEO, DEO, and ERO. But it is sir, collecting from ERO. Sir, from ERO you can collect, na? Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Sir, from Malaysia, yeah. One query, yes, sir. Uh, sir, it's regarding one AC whereby the ARO could not finalize the counts of elector that has been uploaded, sir. AC number thirty-three. Uh, what issue he is facing? 